We have several presentations to kick off the meeting. Liz Ryan spoke to St. John's County Public Affairs Director Wayne Larson about this morning's county commission meeting. Now at the meetings, there'll be more updates from different offices than ever. Well, we have several presentations to kick off the meeting, uh, one of which is a new item providing an opportunity for all of the constitutional officers to provide an update on the programs and services from their operations. We'll have a public infrastructure update from the county on in terms of all of the CIP projects in terms of roads and other facility improvements. We'll receive a hurricane update from our emergency management office on the impacts of the recent hurricane and what the county is doing to recover from that. And on the regular agenda, a St. John's County Park Foundation presentation by their new executive director, as well as some of the programs and services they'll be seeking in the upcoming year. And then uh, later on in the presentations, there is a uh, development presentation to request a development agreement for 3,300 new residential units on 208 and so the board of county commissioners will hear that item of course there is always public comment available and uh, public comment is time certain for 11:30 at our meetings and we would welcome the public to join us or watch us live on our government access channel via our website the board will also hear a request to rezone 31 acres of land from open rural to planned unit development to accommodate a boat and rv storage facility on the north side of russell sampson road the pza voted unanimously on October 3rd to request a denial for this project. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. What proclamation will be issued this morning? In partnership with the St. John's County Board of County Commissioners and members of our Jewish community, we're going to observe the fourth annual St. John's County Israel Friendship Day. What investment policy change did Clerk Brandon Patty initiate in 2021? Clerk Patty revised our investment policy prohibiting our comptroller's office from investing in companies on Florida's list of scrutinized companies that boycott Israel and also mandated an annual review of those prohibited investments. When and where will this proclamation be issued? It will take place at 8 a.m. this morning at the St. John's County Administration Building. The public is invited to join the proclamation at 8 a.m and then attend the regular Board of County Commissioners meeting at 9 a.m. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. Now, as the cleanup begins after two recent hurricanes, it's time to assess your property for damage. Pete Leonards with Eagle Eye Home Inspections explains you may not directly see damage, but knowing the condition of your roof is important. It's always a good thing to have somebody come out and either walk your roof or if it's inaccessible to walking it, you should at least fly a drone. And what you're looking for is shingles that have lifted and folded back. So there'll be like a crease line. Eventually those shingles are gonna break off and then you're gonna have problems down the road. So you wanna address them as soon as possible. If you have access to the attic and can walk around, if not, I would suggest you call somebody to come out and do it. Basically, you're looking for any wet spots on the plywood or the particle board in the attic and a lot of times if you have a stain on your ceiling in the house you would assume that most people assume that that's where the leak is you can't just look at that one area and be sure to stay aware of changes throughout your home just be aware of your house if you see something that you didn't notice before try to address it for saint augustine's local morning news i'm karen johnson and now you're up to date with saint augustine's local morning news i'm rich carroll